things we're feeding your need to create at Christmas. And our project today is sort of like a paint by the numbers for fabric lovers. Just fill in the blanks with your perfect prints and you will have a piece together, darling Christmas tree pillow cover. Chris Thurgood is here to share this simple sewing project. She says every project is simple so that I don't tune her out. <laughs> yeah. But you promise even the beginner seamstress can do this. Even the beginner seamstress while they're singing. What? It's a little cerebral. I, I know. I wanted you to sing. I was really disappointed. No, we want people to stay with us and not change <laughs> the channel. Right. That's, That's the right. goal. So tell me more about this particular project. Okay, so this is just a really fun project. It's called paper piecing is the technique. And like you said, it's kind of like a paint by number. If you can follow those numbers and you can sew on a straight line, because we're going to do it on paper, then you can have perfect points and a beautiful pillow. So we do involve Christmas paper decor. because I was going to say yes. this is fabric, not paper. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, Papers we involved. do have paper involved okay. with the sewing machine. So we're combining all these different mediums. We're going to have a great product. And I love this type of project because you can utilize all of that darling fabric I that know. we get at your store and play with the color and it. the pattern. I love it. So fun. And you know, Buffalo Check is really in right now. Oh, please don't so ever let it be out. I know. I love it. Absolutely love it. So we definitely used it in our pillows here today. Show us how to all make right. one of these. Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to download the pattern. Okay. Step so one. we have step one. This is the free pattern on our website and this is w the paper that we're actually going to sew on. So you see that there's A1, uh -huh. A2, A3, and it goes by, it has numbers. Uh -huh. So that's the numerical order that you're going to follow with your sewing. Okay. Okay, so that's the first, it's first so part of it. It's so for dummies. I like it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay, so now what I did was I took that piece of paper, and in order for me to see on the back side, I actually just held this up to a light, mm -hmm. and I just kind of made some markings just so I have a good visual of where I'm going because this is my road map. Okay. I'm actually sewing the fabric on the, uh, from this side, but I'm putting it onto my sewing machine on the printed side. Okay. I know it's kind of whoops, kind of yeah. kind of crazy to think about, okay. but I'll show you how this works. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is the trunk because that is a one. A one, and right? we start with one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. Now this is the only thing you have to remember, Brooke, is that the first piece has to go right side up. Okay. Everything else goes right side right side down, but this one goes right side up. And as long as you have a piece of fabric that covers over that area, uh -huh. you're going to be good to go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to place that right side and up. And how many different pattern plays? You know the fabric's my favorite part. Yeah. How many different fabric designs can you pull into this? I mean, oh is my each goodness. piece There's a different so fabric? Every, every piece is a different fabric for the, with the exception of the background. Okay. okay. So the background is all stays the same. So I have this gray Essex linen that I'm going to use for my background, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it right side down because okay. remember the only one that goes right side up is the first one. Right. I'm going to put it right side down and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine okay. and I'm going to flip this over. Now if you don't feel comfortable just holding it in place you can place a pin there. Okay. Okay. And that will help hold it together. All right. So we're ready to go. We're going to flip it over and we're going to sew on the line between this uh, A1 and A2. Okay, I get okay. it. I get it. All right, so we're going to go Takes right here. Takes me a minute, here. but I get it. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to put my so presser foot down. So just that one line will be bound down. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yep. And I've shortened my stitch length on here because afterwards we're going to actually, um, we will, whoops, there we go. So we have the first piece. Got it. Okay. Got it. So we keep doing that. What a talent she is. She's talking, she's demonstrating, she's <laughs> sewing all at the same time. So see, I've got my two pieces right here. Yes. And I've got my next piece because I've done A1, two, three, and I, I'm just having so much fun, yes. right? I'm sewing along, singing a song, <laughs> and I'm ready to put on my next piece. So I'm going to put it right side down on okay. top of that. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to sew between the those two lines. How much overlap? Because okay. you're layering here. How much yeah. fabric overlap can you get away with? Does you, it matter? Yes. You, if you have a hard time seeing, then you just kind of look through uh, the light to uh -huh. make sure where the lines are. Okay. But if you drew it like I did on my first example, then you could see that your fabric is going to go over top of that piece. So Got I'm it. just going to put it right side down Got it. and put it right back in there and then sew it. Whoops. Excuse me. 
uh, right on that line. Okay. okay, so we've done all of those steps and now you get something Look funky that. <laughs> that looks like this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Turn it on the back side. Oh, I was seeing it with the flaps exposed. <laughs> so yeah, it does look a little crazy. Yeah, it looks a little crazy because I've got all the, these different fabrics. Can you show this side again? Now the other thing to know is that this is a great way to use your scrap fabric. So as long as the piece of fabric fits over the space that you're going, you can use that, okay? Okay. So we've got all these flappy pieces going around. It looks a little ski wampus. I've learned never to not trust you though. I never <laughs> right. doubt what's gonna happen. Exactly. It's gonna be amazing, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just simply take our rotary cutter uh -huh. and we're gonna cut outside of this, right okay. through the paper. Okay. Okay, we're just about done. And voila, there we go. Cutest, Isn't that cutest fun? Christmas tree. So now all you have to do is Whoa, peel what's the happening? paper off. Oh, okay, <laughs> peel it off. I love the excitement you have when you see these. Well, things. my goodness, it was like sewing magic before our eyes. Exactly. And I have to imagine this is one of these projects where the satisfaction factor is high. Yeah. It's simple <laughs> enough, you can do it in an afternoon. Absolutely. You're using all the pretty colors. Yeah, it's really only gonna take you about a half an hour to do this. It's super simple. And we just made it into a pillow. Now, think about how cute would this be if you made these into little banners? I mean, that would be oh, fun too, right? Chris, yeah. So you've got lots of possibilities, and now you, you're just adding your border all the way around it, stuffing in a pillow, and you've got this great little uh, shelf pillow to keep or to give away. You, well, you, speaking of the giveaway, yes. you had a great idea here to bundle this up as a gift. You know, I think uh, it's really fun to be able to make something for a gift that doesn't take a lot of time, but it shows a lot of effort. Yes. And so kind of what we're trying to encourage our customers to do right now is make one of these, definitely make one for yourself, but also make one to give away. And there are so many people who are just feeling a little down during the yeah. holidays and just need that extra lift. So think of someone that you want to give this pillow to that it's like giving a hug to someone. When you make something, it's really like saying, I care about you, I'm thinking about you, right. I'm rooting for you. Well, and I spent all this week digging out my Christmas storage, right? Yeah. All of my decorations. And there are so many pieces that have been gifted to me over the yes. years, handmade pieces. Yes. And I pull those out and they do bring back. And you love them, You right? do, the love of the yes. relationship, the love yes. for the person. And my yep. home just feels like one big hug with Absolutely. all of these types of projects. Yep. So thank yes. you for that inspiration as well. Where can we get our hands on the Starling fabric? Uh, well, my girlfriend's quilt shop, we're located both in Logan and Midway. Are you prepared for the Buffalo check run? We, we are ready. Okay. I'm sure you'll sell out. <laughs> I know, it's, it's cute. It's so cute. Thank you so 